sexual frustration, an under-researched issue of emerging adults who are culturally deprived of sexual encounters. Sexuality is a broad term and incorporates the biological, psychological, cultural, and social aspects involved. It is used for multiple concepts such as reproduction, pleasure, and romance. Libido is another term explaining sexuality which is based on sexual needs, sexual desires, and sexual behaviors. Sexuality is mainly based on sexual desires or the motivational forces that direct the person near and far from sex-related behaviors. These desires function by physiological and relational factors. Sexuality also involves cognitive processes and has fluctuating levels. It also involves the subjective perceptions of sexuality and the fulfillment of one's subjective sexual expectations. Sexuality is considered mandatory for emotional and physical relationships. Humans are programmed to seek pleasure and avoid pain. They want to repeat situations in which pleasure is experienced and they can be more satisfied. Sexual frustration is referred to such, a mental state where one experiences stress or tension caused by prolonged sexual inactivity or unsatisfied sexual pleasure. Sexual frustration can arise from unfulfilled desires to have sex, unavailable partners, and unsatisfying sexual activities. The adverse effects of sexual frustration include biological tension, aggression, violence, enhanced criminal tendencies, relational dissatisfaction, low self-esteem, poor psychological well-being, and poor quality of life. The release of sexual frustration, on the other hand, improves physical and psychological health. Culture serves an extremely important role in viewing the world and forming behaviors. The social norms highly vary between the two main types of culture, that are individualistic and collectivistic. People from individualistic cultures usually get exposure to genital and non-genital sexual activities during their adolescence. Studies have reported that most adolescents from the US, UK, and Canada do their first sexual intercourse before their 18th birthday. People from collectivistic cultures do more social compliance and are more concerned with the lives of others. Apart from sex being a basic human right, sexual gratification in collectivistic cultures mostly require marriage. Instead of falling in love or choosing a mate of personal choice, the unmarried in collectivistic cultures are usually dependent on their parents for getting married. Adolescents and emerging adults from collectivistic cultures do not get the sexual exposure and sexual satisfaction like their age fellows from the individualistic cultures. Culture and environment play a significant role in sexual arousal. Cultural and religious values also contribute to suppress sexual assertiveness. Sexual openness, in such circumstances, is considered unethical and may destroy a family's honor. Emerging adults are more concerned with the honor of their family as compared to children or elderly. Dating and premarital meetings between the prospective husbands and wives are mostly regarded against the culture. A typical collectivistic culture, therefore, creates an environment in which the unmarried must suppress their sexual desires and wait for marriage. Marriages may also be delayed due to several socioeconomic factors. The average age of marriage has also been increasing worldwide. This sexual suppression and the related adverse psychological consequences are surely under-researched. Studying sexuality is still a taboo in many parts of the world and most of the research on sexuality is carried out in developed countries and in individualistic cultures. An international survey on sexual attitudes and behaviors also reported higher prevalence of sexual problems in East and Southeast Asia than other regions of the world. A study by Dr. Sukun was designed to explore the prevalence of sexual frustration among the unmarried emerging adults from Pakistan. It also intended to correlate sexual frustration with depression, anxiety, stress, life satisfaction, emotional expressivity, age, and education. As the earlier literature did not provide any valid scale to measure sexual frustration, a major part of the current study also dealt with developing and validating a new scale in this regard. The study was conducted in two phases. The first phase involved the development and initial testing of the newly developed scale of sexual frustration. The second phase of the study confirmed the validity of the scale and correlated sexual frustration with depression, anxiety, stress, life satisfaction, emotional expressivity, age, and education. Dr. Sukun's sexual frustration is, emotional distress caused by repressed or suppressed sexual desires, prolonged sexual inactivity, 
Our sexual dissatisfaction, his study involved a total of 656 participants. Phase 1 involved 263 unmarried participants. Phase 2 involved 393 unmarried participants. The participants of Phase 2 were between 18 to 33 years of age with a mean age of 22 years. Their educational qualifications ranged from 10 years of formal schooling till a doctorate. The average educational qualification of the participants was graduation from a university. Sexual frustration scale was developed and validated in the aforesaid study. Emotional expressivity scale and satisfaction with life scale were used in the study to analyze the discriminant validity of sexual frustration scale. Depression, anxiety and stress scale was used to analyze the convergent validity of sexual frustration scale. A demographic information questionnaire was also used to obtain information about participants' gender, age, education, and marital status. Sexual frustration scale, developed by Dr. Sukun, was found highly valid and reliable. The findings revealed significantly positive correlations of sexual frustration with depression, anxiety, and stress. The results also projected significantly inverse correlations of sexual frustration with emotional expressivity and satisfaction with life. Highly significant differences were found between men and women for all the understudied variables. Men had significantly higher levels of sexual frustration, depression, anxiety, and stress as compared to women. Women, on the other hand, had significantly higher leaves of emotional expressivity and life satisfaction. Sexual frustration had a significant positive correlation with age. No significant correlation between sexual frustration and education was found. Human sexuality, apart from its biological and psychological aspects, is highly dependent on the cultural boundaries set forth for sexual gratification. Most of the individualistic Western cultures give plenty of sexual exposure and opportunities for sexual satisfaction. Sexuality is seen positively, and people are culturally encouraged to have positive sexual encounters. The collectivistic Eastern cultures, on the other hand, impose plenty of socio-religious restrictions in the way of sexual gratification. Marriage, which is usually done with the permission of parents and family, is considered the only source of sexual satisfaction. Education and earning, on the other hand, stop people to marry in a timely and economically convenient way. Sexual ties other than marriage are perceived and propagated negatively. Males and females from collectivistic Eastern cultures wait long enough to get married and have sexual encounters. Females are faced with more cultural problems and social pressures. This prolonged suppression of sexual needs and desires cause sexual frustration. People from collectivistic cultures are also not inclined to seek professional psychological help and tend to ignore mental problems. Bridging a huge knowledge gap, the study by Dr. Sukun explored sexual frustration among the unmarried men and women from a collectivistic culture. The study by Dr. Sukun revealed the levels of sexual frustration among unmarried men and women from a collectivistic culture. The findings of the study revealed significantly higher levels of sexual frustration among men as compared to women. The reasons to this could be associated with the higher intensity of sexual desires in men as compared to women causing lesser sexual satisfaction in men. The study by Dr. Sukun also revealed a significant positive correlation between sexual frustration and age which reflects that the levels of sexual frustration may increase if prolonged. The earlier studies have also projected higher frequencies of sexual desires and sexual fantasies among emerging adults as compared to other age groups. Emerging adulthood, therefore, is a time which significantly requires special attention to sexuality. This is the time when emerging adults struggle hard to establish themselves professionally and get adjusted in life. Sexual frustration can be a big hurdle in this regard. The study by Dr. Sukun also revealed significantly positive correlations of sexual frustration with depression, anxiety, and stress. Psychological stress or distress explain the improper psychological functioning caused by the stressful life events. It involves a person's perceived inability to cope with the situation effectively, change in emotional state, discomfort, communication of discomfort, and harm. The study by Dr. Sukun has found a significant positive correlation between sexual frustration and stress. Anxiety is, worrying about the future excessively. 
Several types of anxiety-based mental disorders are regarded as chronic and impairing and are highly prevalent. Anxiety is a basis for several other mental disorders and a risk to several chronic medical problems including depression and cardiovascular disease. The patients of generalized anxiety disorder have been considered as the most common patients of any outdoor patient department in hospitals. Anxious people worry to avoid and reduce the ongoing distress. They have cognitive hyperactivity and highly intense perception of emotions. The psychosocial reasons of developing anxiety include negative life events, parental neglect, maltreatment, loss, and interpersonal problems. The study by Dr. Sukun has significantly linked sexual frustration with anxiety. Depression is usually referred to profound sadness. It is the most frequent mental disorder affecting 6% of the adult population each year worldwide. The lifetime prevalence of depression has been reported as 2-21% worldwide. Depression is an important challenge to global health. It is predicted that depression would be the single leading cause of the disease burden till 2030. Depression impacts humans more than any other common physical disease such as diabetes, angina, asthma, or arthritis. It has a potential to develop several medical conditions such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease and adversely affect the general health of a person. Suicide is strongly correlated with depression, and it has been reported that 50% of the suicides are conducted in a depressive episode. Depression is also positively correlated with premature deaths. Depression adversely affects a person's cognitive functioning, work performance, and quality of life. The study by Dr. Sukun has found a significantly positive correlation between sexual frustration and depression. The earlier literature lacks specific studies on the correlations of sexual frustration with anxiety, stress, and depression. Researchers, however, have correlated sexual dissatisfaction and sexual dysfunctions with several psychological problems including depression, anxiety, and stress. The significant positive correlations of sexual frustration with depression, anxiety, and stress, as reported in the study by Dr. Sukun, highlight the adverse psychological consequences of sexual frustration. The study by Dr. Sukun also revealed significantly inverse correlations of sexual frustration with emotional expressivity and satisfaction with life. Emotional expressivity refers to the positive or negative display of emotions through facial, vocal, or gestural means. Expressing emotions have been considered important for a better psychosocial well-being. Suppressing or repressing emotions, on the other hand, has been frequently associated with several psychiatric problems including depression, anxiety, personality disorders, irresponsibility, self-centeredness, maladaptive functioning, eating disorders, somatic problems, etc. Satisfaction with life is the fulfillment of the purpose of life, the gratification of human needs and desires, a match between the desired and the achieved goals, and an evaluation of the life as a whole. Satisfaction with life depends on several psychosocial factors that also include sexual satisfaction and being married. The literature lacks specific connections of sexual frustration with emotional expressivity and life satisfaction. However, more sexual problems have been correlated with lesser emotional expressivity and lesser satisfaction with life. Emotional expressions and catharsis, on the other hand, has been positively associated with a better psychological well-being. The study by Dr. Sukun is a worthwhile contribution to the theoretical and as well as the applied aspects of human sexuality. It intended to fill a knowledge gap in the area of sexual frustration and provided unknown knowledge and a valid scale to measure sexual frustration. The findings of the study would also highlight the adverse psychological consequences of suppressing sexual desires and delaying marriages of emerging adults from collectivistic cultures. Thanks for listening. To read the entire paper, kindly visit www.dersakoon.info.